YouTubes. I got a call for a walk-in box at a restaurant that's uh, basically their beer their beer cooler. Um, they're saying the compressor's not running. Uh, if I remember right, it's a good old super beater, and it's just and it is it's just for the kegs I think kegs and beers. So that's pretty important. Let's get over there and take a look and see what we get into. All right, I'm just gonna roll with tippins on this one. And we'll do some exploratory surgery. Let's go see what we get into. Oh, Harville Dinkelson. I can hear it. Now we're talking. The steely walk-in door. Look at this old beater. Okay, we do have a solenoid coil up there. And there's a time clock and a thermostat. Let's get on top of these kegs here. That's how I always do it. Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, we're calling. That looks good. Um, The uh, thermostat and solenoid are cooperating. Okay. Let's go see what's going on at the condensing unit. Doggy house off of that thing. Used to have a high head switch on there. Someone's taking it off because I'm the guy that put the high head switch on it. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Someone took the high head pressure switch off. This thing's iceberg, iceberg cold. Yeah, there's my wires from my high head switch. Look at this. Compressor's dead. Condenser fan motors are gone and the compressor's dead. They would have saved their compressor if they wouldn't have taken the switch out. I love it. Good job, Sideshow Bob. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Sideshow. That's a shame. Forty-five twelve AXD. Oh, there it comes back to life. Looky there. It's a miracle. Hey, there it goes. Dude was not happy because I could enter fan motor puke. 
it's it's the March miracle. Wow. That eva I could tell by grabbing this suction line, the evaporator coil is probably plugged and shot. It's so, this liquid line is so cold right now, or the suction line, pardon me. It's mega flood back. It's major flooding back. It's still running. I went and got the uh, sprayer, some coil cleaner, some WD-40, and it's still online, but I know that fan motor stalled out, so let's kill power. See if she freewheels. Yeah, she's freewheeling. Let's get this coil washed up. This coil is plugged. I'm going to show you guys. It's Plugo to the Bugo. And we're going to do our due diligence here on this thing. I love it when you work on stuff that you used to work on and then someone else worked on it and then they take the safety switch off. And This unit needs high head safety. We get high when it gets hot outside. This unit will not cool. It's short on capacity, and it always has been. All right, what are we using today? We're using the Blackhawk from New Calgon. That's what we're using. Oh, look at that, foaming up some stuff. We're gonna get some schmutz out of there. That stuff get to work for a while. Let it knock all that stuff good and loose. And uh, yeah, we'll let that get to work for a minute. Ready to rumble. Are you ready to rock and roll, baby? I'll wash that receiver off. It's like, what are you doing, NorCal Dave? Well, the fan blade was super dirty. And the grill is like, that's your air out. So you want that to be clean too, the fan guard. This is a bit dirty. I wanted to get that washed off too. Then we can read the label real good. See, that fan blade got cleaned up just that quick. Now we're gonna wash this coil out.
stay on this thing and get her good and clean. Look at all the stuff that came out of the coil. Can you see it all down there? I pushed it all the way back, back to here. Now let's take a look through the coil. Oh, look at that sunlight all the way through. Isn't that amazing? basics let's see if we need to change this motor out or not we're gonna we're gonna test this out here okay got the uh, condenser washed out good the condenser fan starting up just fine the compressor is having hard starting issues so we got to dig into the start components and check those out there should be a start cap a run cap and a current relay in there definitely having starting issues for sure we got a 15 microfarad run cap and we have a 97 microfarad star cap on this one. Plus or minus 10%. Plus or minus 6% on this one. Let's see what we're what we're getting into here. Got the connectors on. We're at 13.64. Alright, for 6% on this, the lowest we could go is 14.1. So that's reading below spec for starters. That's fact. Not much we could do about that, but that is below what the spec is on that one. Let's hook up on this guy. The start cap's reading 95. We could be within 10%. Uh, so on this one, I think the start cap is okay. Yeah, 94.9. All right, I had a Titan 15 on the truck. Bam! Looking good, looking good. I also brought up a plethora of potential relays. I want to change that potential relay out too. Um, and there's just so many variations. I don't know what part number for the ultimate backup. I do have this ICM universal just in case. But hopefully one of these Copeland ones will be the same part number. I'm going to check it right now. All right, here's where we're at got the new run cap in I was able to use the original bracket just kind of redo it I ended up going with the universal relay I didn't have one with the same number let's see if this thing will start now let's see what happens here Man, look at that isn't that better fired right up isn't that nice now, I did get some backstory that they're thinking that motor had stalled out, so I'm really suspicious about our condenser fan motor. So I'm going to hang out for a bit here and check it out and see how I feel about it. Uh, those two are basura. They're going in the trash, and that's my stash. Even though I have a stash, I still don't have the right one, and I ended up using the ICM Universal Potential Relay, which is a great product. pick those up. I get those at RSD. They're hanging on the shelf where all the ICM stuff is. I'm going to let it run for a bit. We'll keep an eye on, these, uh, on the amps off the motor. And we'll see how it does as it runs here and see if that condenser fan motor is puking out charge looks good so it's got it's full of refrigerant and we'll keep an eye on a few things here as I button a few things up all right so as it's been running the amp draw actually dropped a bit like zero three still don't trust that condenser fan motor I just want to sit here for a minute feel how hot it gets and if I don't like it I'm gonna I'm gonna change it out probably with just a regular old 115 horsepower motor. got here it was definitely stalled out you guys saw me hit it with my extension allen wrench and got it going 
but I didn't look to see if there's any scuzz at the bottom of the fan shroud like it could have been caught up. I didn't really check for that. There, there's a lot of scuzz up here. So the motor is getting super hot, like scorcher, so it's gonna thermal out eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the condenser fan motor. And that should take care of this one. I'm gonna get it ripped out right now. I got all the screws out. And let me get the, ooh, hot tamales. Let me get it out of there. I always keep a piece of sand cloth and tippins up here. Try and get the shaft, get the shaft shined up. And we'll get this fan blade off and change this motor out. Let me get two hands on there. All right, so it's a good thing I stuck around to check this motor. And to see it getting hot when my spider senses were tingling, watch this. Yeah, party. Party's over, bro. Right there it is. I got the motor replaced. I put some tape on where this flex was broken. And I put a pop-in bushing here. If you look back on the video, there was no bushing in there from Sideshow Bob. I, Sideshow Bob did some work on this thing. All right, let's fire it up, make sure our rotation's right, and see how we do here. And we'll take an amp draw on the motor, too. Okay, that looks good. Let's amp out our motor and see how we're doing here. Looking good. Looking good, looking good. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. Fun times when you dig into them and we'll get the beers cold and everybody will be happy. NorCal Refrigeration and HVAC. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.